Hey guys, it's Xavier from the Diving Dragons, and today I'm going to be showing you the most efficient mob farm that I have found. Let's just not mind the explosions, and let's go over here. This thing doesn't take up very much space. I'm just going to be making it out of cobblestone. This will be the main, fr the main frame of the whole thing, and to start off, you want to, like, nerd pole. 125 blocks, I think. Well, just two stacks. Do two stacks. So 128 blocks in this guy. Goes straight up, 128 blocks. And then, you want to build yourself a little platform, right? Because I'm not going to do the nerd pulling, because that's just pointless for me. The nerd pull is just to ensure that no mobs spawn beneath you. So that everything spawns in this spawner. So that you're going to want to build... This is going to be the dropping platform, where everything's going to drop out of. I recommend doing this, doing this like first, like five blocks or so out of obsidian, because on my survival world it gets blown up by creepers every now and then, and it's freaking annoying. So from here, you want to go up. I believe it is 25 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Is that 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. That's 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay, and then you want to do this on all sides. I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Okay, guys, and once you're done with this tube, you want to bring it out here. I believe it is 11 blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Is that eleven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, yeah, that's eleven out from the first one. Okay, so it equals twelve. Then you can do that on all sides. I'll get back to you when I'm done with that. Okay, guys, so then you're going to have something that looks like this, except it's going to be over a hundred blocks in the air. Then you want to fill in all of these to the point where you have one giant square. And I know this is very, very resource consuming, but believe me, it's worth it in the end. This thing is so efficient. And like, since there's no underground for uh, mobs to spawn, I, I guess I could have mobs, I could turn it on hard mode for a minute, show you guys how efficient it is, but thing is, the mobs would spawn around me, because they can spawn anywhere from 128 blocks away to, um, to 24 blocks. They cannot spawn within 24 blocks of you. That's why this has to be 25 tall. So I'll get back to you guys when I'm when I've made this a giant square. Okay, guys, my apologies. You need to add um, 12 blocks t from the center, so I'm just gonna have to go around this one more time. So, one, two, three, see so, you yeah, guys after I'm done with this. We are going to build walls. And remember, this thing is going to be massive to make it as efficient as possible. So it spawns as much as it, it can. Four. There we go. That should be it. Looks about, looks right. That looks about right. Yep. Thank you. Okay, so what you guys are going to want to do is build walls that are three higher four high. I think these walls are going to be three high, or four high, I mean. I think they're going to be four high on the first one. 
By the way, you're gonna have to repeat um, the next couple, this step, and the next step. You can do it however many times you want, but if you're doing it on survival, and um, and um, uh, and since builder's height is actually pretty low for PlayStation and um, Xbox. I recommend only doing five layers at max because it's kind of hard to fit any more than that. Just because it doesn't really fit. So I'm just gonna show you one wall and what you do to it. Like, because I'll do the next few walls within this next cut. So what you want to do is count over three. So there's that. So one, two, three, block. Three blocks or two blocks. One, two, three, block. Then done, 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 done. And this point should end up in the middle. Okay. That did not work out right, huh? Alright, hang on. I'll be back when I figure this out. Okay guys, so what I've done is I made the platform too big. You actually add 8, I'm pretty sure. 8 or 10. Because you want it to be 10. So it'll be like one, two, and then add eight. I'm fairly sure that's what that is. Because you're supposed to end up having water right here come at it from a dispenser. And so on a redstone timer, it pushes the mobs off. But it's three blocks short. Sometimes I need to move it up three blocks. Oh, yeah. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, so I need to move it up four. So I'll get rid of these last four blocks. Because that's when it pushes it off the edge. Or. Actually, no, I did it right. Okay. So you can take off the four blocks. If you want to conserve resources, I guess. I definitely would in survival. Or. We can do what I'm thinking. And just make this shorter. So on the right one, yeah. Just break this off. Because it doesn't matter anyway, because once they get pushed under here, they're going to get pushed by more water. So I think I might have done it right anyway. Yeah, I did. I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I built this. I built it on survival a few months ago. If not more. It's actually before summer started. Because today is um, June 1st. Not June 1st. August 1st. August 2nd. Sorry. 2nd or 3rd. So you want to build it like this. You don't want to put the water on there yet. But you want to do four of these. Hmm. Looks a lot smaller, I guess. But yeah, I think I built the platform too big. I definitely built this platform too big. Because it was still supposed to be three. So the corner was supposed to be here. So I'm actually going to make it smaller. Um... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. See, so yeah, this thing is the right size. I just built this whole big platform too big. Alright, so I'll get back to you guys when I fix this. Sorry. Okay, guys, I'm back. And from here to there, it's 10, not 12. Sorry. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And there you go. 
it'll end up just here and there'll be a block here that's how that's gonna be so I'm gonna build the entire wall and then again show you guys how to build these just in case I have to mention wrong four see you guys in a minute and guys while I'm building this I'm going to ensure to you this is not my design I cannot remember whose design it was originally it's just been too long since I watched how to build it um, but yeah, it was built forever ago though. It was like a year old video. And this is just me renewing it, making sure you guys know it still works. And it is so efficient. Oh, why did I... Okay, that's weird. So yeah, this is not my design. I'm not trying to steal it. I have no wish to steal anybody's designs for anything. So if I say something my design, it is my design. And if somebody has it, it's purely coincidental. I didn't watch any videos on it or anything. So, like that melon farm down there, that's not my design either. I saw some images on uh, Google. On uh, the original kind of layout of it. But all the redstone in that, that's mine. I did that myself. All my design. Okay, so I built all the walls. So again, one, two, three, and then come over. Door goes one, two, three again. Then you just keep doing this and staying one short of each end. In total, you should end up with eight. Auto save. You should end up with eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. I built it too high. Why? And I'll see you guys in a minute when I fix this. Okay, guys, there. I fixed it. And you don't have to place the water. I just do um, for a second to make sure I did it right. There we go. That's done. Right. Let's get rid of the water on this one, too. One, two, three. One, two, three. I am doing this on the right level this time. And you can do it like this if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then just go back down. You always want to make it peak at 8. There we go. So they'll end up with a whole one of these. I can't remember what the video is called that I watched to build this. Um, or who did it. So, unless I can uh, figure that out, like if I can remember it, because there's probably a couple videos maybe on this design, I'm not so sure. But if I can find, if I can remember who did it, I'll put their uh, channel name in the description below. But yeah, so you end up with this, but then you want to do it again, just two layers higher. So again, you'll build up the wall, so it'll be three high from the. Uh, from those platforms so I'll get back to you guys I'm gonna build the wall up okay guys I am back and you're just gonna want to do the same thing that you did before
So, yep, you just do this. And I'll get back to you guys when I'm done with this. Okay, guys. So, basically, what you're going to do from here is repeat this five times. So, go up. So, you did two layers. And you want to have five layers in total. So, instead of um, doing it here in creative mode, which will take forever to redo. I'm just going to go to um, my survival world and show you guys what happens after that. So I will see you guys here in a minute. Alright, here we go. We're on my other profile. And if it'll let me come in. I just want to show you guys that I didn't cheat at all on my survival island one. See, survival, legit survival island one. Created in survival mode, as you can see. Hopefully. Hopefully you guys can see that. And it's on normal right now. More options. There's no host privileges, nothing. And this took me months to do. The, um, the mob uh, grinder, though, that I built, which is what I'm showing you guys today, obviously. That took me an entire day to do on survival. See, I was here, um, actually using this with my sword, so when they live, because they, usually, for the hoppers here, which is the bottom of the tunnel, you want to put slabs on it so that they always live on 1 HP. Uh, but the way I have it is just so it's more efficient as a mob farm, just getting, uh, items. Because I don't need XP that much, really. I get enough XP from the occasional one that is built. Oh jeez. You can see half of the iron farm down there, the other half isn't really loaded in. All these granite blocks have redstone. Why are you up here? Get off here. Get out of here. Leave it. Out of here. Oh! Okay. I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay guys, we're back. And we're going back up. I'm gonna be ready for him this time, if he's actually up there. Cause like, that's never happened before, I've never seen a mob spawn up here. There's so many mobs up here, it kinda gets laggy just up here. But yeah, this is the redstone. In here you want 24. Let's see, 24. Um, cobblestone or whatever you wanna use. And these hoppers go into each other. You have comparators going. And make sure you have this thing in. A red the block. Redstone torch. Redstone repeater. With a redstone going here. With a piston. Sticky piston. Is this sticky piston or normal piston? I think they're normal pistons. By the way, it doesn't really matter. You can have it. Uh, sticky piston or normal piston. I don't think it really matters. Um, but then you have a two block space with a redstone block. And then another piston facing in. Then a redstone dust. And then another repeater on one tick delay. Then the redstone torch, the block, and the other comparator. It's just mirrored, really, except for this block. And see, there, there's a, see if you guys can see, it's pretty much mirrored there. Um, and the redstone dust goes along here into this repeater, into this redstone torch, and then a block, and then a redstone torch, so on and so forth. But yeah, after you do the five layers, you want to put, if I can find one, you want to put dispensers down with water buckets in them. Put water buckets in every single one, so that they all get activated on different turns. And then, I have the redstone going along here. Why, why are there mobs up here? I've never seen mobs up here before. I come and check this frequently. So yeah, do the same thing on all four sides. In the middle is where you want to put the dispenser. So like, you want to build this. See, this one is the dispenser. Yep, this is the first dispenser, I do believe. Um, let's check. Yep, this is the first dispenser. So you're going to build this platform. Because like, behind this block is going to be your first layer. 
your first death platform layer thing so you put the dispenser on top in the middle and then it dispenses the water out and then you always start with a block so then that goes all the way up and changes on the top of this though you want to make sure you light it up like it's not even funny light it up make sure nothing will ever spawn up here apparently I did a bad job making sure nothing will ever spawn up here though I didn't place any torches anywhere but that's fine it's only a couple for me oh jeez eh I catch myself see I did build this two stacks of blocks in the air so yeah you do that you do the redstone you gotta do it on all the sides with the redstone torches and blocks and stuff and then I will show you guys how efficient this is once I get up here. See you guys in a minute. Okay guys, I'm almost up here. And I'm going to show you how, how efficient this is. See, only the occasional mob will live. And spiders usually live because they get stuck on the inside. And you just have to punch them. Punch them, they die. Except for this spider. You're annoying. Fight me, son. I, I, I know it's a waste, but I use this sword because it's got looting on it so I get much more drops I really don't want him to blow up cause that sucks see I didn't yeah that's what happens and it's annoying as balls see I don't have a way to fix that right now so I'm just gonna exit without saving hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial if you guys found it useful definitely subscribe and dab that like button and yeah I will see you guys with my next video See you guys later. 360 no scopes. Pew, pew, pew. Nailed it. See you guys later. Peace.